Good morning. Welcome to CanX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Wednesday, March 4th, 2015. If you want to follow us on Twitter, go to CanX TV. According to the Chief Executive Officer of Canadian Pacific Railway, a terrorist attack on an oil transport train is what worries him the most. Uh, his name is Hunter Harrison. He's the uh, Canadian Pacific Chief Executive Officer. He said his greatest fear in moving crude oil by rail is the prospect of a terrorist attack on the company's trains. That's what concerns me more because it can be planned to do the worst possible damage, he said after a speech in Toronto yesterday. Harrison said if a third party or a terrorist decide to target the trains, it would be hard to protect against. He said, quote, it's a serious situation we need to address. He said the Canadian Pacific staff is being trained and how best respond as first responders. He also said that uh, U.S. and Canadian transport and regulatory authorities are drafting, in addition to the tougher standards for oil tank cars, they're also developing contingency plans in case of a terrorist attack on a train. An explosion at a coal mine, coal mine in war-torn eastern Ukraine apparently has killed 32 workers today. This was announced in the Ukraine parliament earlier today. This occurred at a mine in the city of Donetsk, which is under the control of Russian separatist rebels. Apparently, uh, there was an explosion at a depth of more than 9,000 feet under the earth. 230 workers were in the mine at the time. Uh, rescue operations are continuing. About 157 workers have been evacuated. Uh, information is still relatively unclear on this. One of the most rumored acquisition targets at Lloyd's is publicly traded Nove. They picked a real good time to come in with very strong numbers. Uh, they have reported their uh, sharpest growth in the history of the company. Uh, their uh, gross written premiums were up 13% to about 639 million pounds for 2014. Uh, Pre-tax profits jumped from about 42 million up to 62 million pounds. They also saw an increase in their investment return as well that jumped up almost a whole percent. Um, Matthew Frosch, who is the CEO, also announced an uh, increased dividend of 18.2 pence per share, up from 16.4 pence per share. Analysts are increasing their rating from a hold to a buy. If Nove is going to be acquired, this is a good time for them to show very strong numbers. John Charman's Endurance and the uh, Chinese conglomerate Fosun are apparently amongst the final bidders in the Montpelier Re auction, uh, which is being held down in Bermuda. Uh, Brian Dupro's Hamilton Insurance is also involved in the process. Uh, it seems as if the final bids are going to come in uh, by the end of this week and uh, the decision will be made in the second week of March. In the United States, automatic data processing has reported that 212,000 workers were hired in February. Uh, this means that since the end of 2013, American companies have added almost 2.8 million jobs. In the Eurozone, the 19 country uh, organizations, economic recovery is kicking into higher gear right now, thanks to falling oil prices and the lower Euro. And one of the clearest signals to date, retail sales in the Eurozone rose in January by a monthly increase of 1.1%. This is the biggest jump since May of 2013. That's very good news for Europe. At least 16 people have been injured this morning when a large fire broke out at an international convention center in northeastern Cairo. The cause of the fire was not immediately known. It was a spectacular blaze. Firefighters spent several hours battling it. The blaze had reached the main hall. Um, the uh, Exposition Center regularly hosts international conferences and expositions. In Oman yesterday, an interesting scene was, uh, was witnessed. Rough seas and strong winds led to a sinking of a ship off the Ras al Had shore in the southern part of the country, resulting in the death of some 250 cattle. However, about 120 of them actually swam to shore. Beachgoers relaxing on the beach were uh, suddenly surprised by about 120 large cattle swimming to shore. A number of beachgoers acted as uh, newspapers termed them local saviors and went into the surf to rescue the cattle and help drag them on shore. No loss of human life was, uh, was uh, resulting. However, witnesses said they were stunned to see so many large animals coming out of the sea. 
That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.